Hi children, good morning and up to now we were seeing about the uses of microorganisms in our daily life, isn't it? So, you know, it is also useful in for the soil, that is for the growth of the plants. How is it so? What are the different microorganisms that are present in the soil useful for the plant that we'll see now? Okay, children. And next, in the previous, once we recall what we have come covered in the uh, previous class that is um, uses of microorganisms that are used in in houses like uh, for the fermentation purposes for idli and dosa and also the uh, commercial use also it's used as in the preparation of alcohol and industrial use uh, usage and different medic medicinal purpose as it is used in the preparation of different antibiotics and vaccines were discovered from the microorganisms in itself we have known that the vaccine the name itself was discovered by the cowpox cow that the word it was discovered from the word vaca that means cow isn't it so the vaccines are also discovered from the microorganisms that are, we are using to cure so many diseases and also the microorganisms are present in the soil which convert the atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates and supply to the plants where the plants use it so the, you know that the atmosphere consists of several gases in which the nitrogen is one which is present in the atmosphere about 78% eight, of the air is composed of the nitrogen in itself plants need nitrogen for its protein synthesis isn't it so in, in order to get the nitrogen it cannot take the nitrogen directly from the atmosphere but it should be converted into the nitrate form which it can receive through the some of the microorganisms what are they we are going to see now so you are also familiar with the rhizobium bacteria in last year that is in sim which forms a symbiotic relationship in nutrition in plants lesson you have learned it isn't it children yes you know it about the rhizobium bacteria that is the nitrogen fixing bacteria which fixes nitrogen for the plants which uh, forms a symbiotic relationship with some of the leguminous plants uh, and uh, mostly the leguminous plants in itself and uh, supply the nitrogen to the plant and it takes the shelter from the plant. In the similar manner, we can know some of the other microorganisms like, see the picture on the board children here. So this is Nostoc. It's a microorganism. It belongs to blue green algal form, algal, algal form. And anabena is another microorganism. Both are belongs to cyanobacteria phylum. So it belongs to the genus cyano and the bacteria. It's a cyanobacteria phylum. It belongs to both of them, nostoc and anabena. And this is also azotobacter bacterium, which also supplies the nitrogen to the plants so you can draw the pictures in this manner ma nostoc and anabina which supplies the atmospheric nitrogen to the plants and the structure of this nostoc and anabina you can see in your textbook it is given so for your confirmation this is a nostoc and this is a anabina whereas the nostoc you can see the structure in this manner where they are found both in the aquatic and on the soil also and they belong to the aquatic um, uh, um, also they live in water and also in the on the land or soil so uh, you can say that they are free living and prepare their own food some of them can prepare their own food as they contain the green blue green algal structures which form the symbiotic relationship and take the food from the them and prepare the food and get the nitrogen from the soil okay so children next about the anabina so these um, both are the uh, forms which live both in land and the soil I told you they fix the nitrogen what do they do they fix nitrogen for the plants nitrogen for plants okay children and here uh, um, they are found both I told you as they are found both in land and water and is it is a plankton form they, they they are in the plankton forms uh, and with uh, they are having the symbiotic relationship with the mosquito ferns symbiotic relationship with uh, the ferns where the mosquitoes normally develop you know it isn't it so they are developed the symbiotic relationship with the mosquito Ferns. In last year, in our, the science fair also, we have, uh, sir has have shown you this fern, 
isn't it? In the botany session, you, you have seen this fern that is about the mosquito ferns. So now stop, you know it, it is a microorganism and uh, anabina is also another microorganism both belongs to cyanobacteria phylum and they are they belong to the planktons uh, the plant the existence in a plankton forms uh, and uh, they uh, give the nitrogen or supply the nitrogen to the plants okay children so this is about the soil microorganism which supply the nitrogen in organic forms uh, they supply it to the plants in organic forms of nitrogen next um, we will move to the another bacterium that is um, called as bt bacterium th bacillus thuringiensis which is called as bt bacillus thuringiensis see here it's a bacterium thuringiensis. What about it? What is this bacterium? It's a back name of the bacteria. So it, it acts as a toxin that is um, it produces a toxin which kills the pests. So this bacterium what does it do? It produces the toxins which kills the pests produces the toxins which kills the pests so how, how is it useful for the plants so for this you have to know what does the farmer do generally the farmer in, in to get the best products of the plants to get the best products of the plants farmers use this bacterium as a biopesticide they use the bacteria as a biopesticide that means in the sense that it kills the pests that are occupied to the plants and also it's um, generally this bacterium is used in transgenic crop plants what do you mean by transgenic crop plants transgenic crop plants means that the, these crops are these are made by the modifying the crops that is the, to protect the crops from the pests the plants are being genetically modified the crops are being genetically modified. So these are modified crops by genetic methods. By using certain genetic engineering methods, these crops are being modified by the special characteristic features of the required DNA. That is uh, the plants with the good variety and uh, that grows in a less time and with good variety of crops that grows or uh, taken the features of that crop are taken and implanted in the crops with the um, successive that is um, the recessive character features that is that uh, has the less characteristic features um, that have been implanted such genetic engineering methods uh, that are used over the crop plants are known as transgenic crop plants transgenic crop plants so this is called as about the transgenic crop plants in which this uh, gene from the bacterium of bacillus thuringiensis uh, which protects the plests uh, on over the plants is being taken this gene is taken and in, transferred into the transgenic crop plants to get the best variety of the plants in order to control the pests so this bacillus bacterium is used in that manner also for the, in the genetic engineering methods also by our farmers uh, to implant the good varieties of the plant to grow in the less time minimum time and good variety crop to get the good variety crop and also insect free or insectal crop to be grown the farmers in general use this bt especially it is a bt cotton we say so bacterium thuringiensis and cotton manufacturers uh, norm normally where the farmers who grow the cotton they use this uh, they, this method of um, transgenic crop plantation is used for the cotton crop where the Bt is being implanted or transferred the gene of the Bt that is bacterium thuringiensis is used uh, for the crop plants uh, to control the pests. Okay children, hope you have understood about the usefulness of the microorganisms. We said that microorganisms are used in the household, in the bakeries, in the food production, in the cakes and idli dosa that was all in the homemade and also in the commercial purpose of production of alcohol, wine, beer etc. And also we use the microorganisms in the medicinal purpose as in 
as in the development of the antibiotics and also the vaccination and you have learned about the discovery of antibiotics and also the vaccines isn't it children now we have also learned the usefulness further of the microorganisms for the farmers in to develop the different types of crops where there, an, there is a nitrogen deficiency in the soil and also some plants need the, uh, the nitrogen like the leguminous plants where they use the bacteria from the soil or some of the water also. Okay, they are present as well as in the water and also in the soil. So this type of bacteria you have learned about the nostoc uh, that is um, uh, uh, now you have learnt about anabina, nostoc, uh, rhizobium bacteria and other type of bacteria is also there that is azitobacter. Azitobacter. So these examples you can give for the bacteria useful as a soil microorganisms to develop the soil fertility. Okay, they convert the organic matter into an organic compound and su supply to the plants in the form of nitrates.